everyone, it's Rachel here from Rachel and Bella Crafts. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's just going to be a pretty quick one this evening. Uh, it's quite late here. Um, I'm just going to be quiet because everybody's gone to bed. But uh, it's been a really, really uh, exciting day. Mum and Dad have finally moved into their new house. So we've been busy, busy all day um, moving furniture and um, unpacking and settling them in. Um, but yeah, really good day. And they've, they're finally in now, so last home run now and uh, get Mum's craft room set up and we'll be good to go. Um, really nice surprise coming home this evening to find this wonderful parcel on my uh, doorstep. Well, it's inside the post box. Um, I've been sent a lovely uh, parcel of happy mail from Valerie. She's one of the admin in our um, Facebook group. Um, and I just wanted to share some of the beautiful things that are inside. So I've opened it up ready. But I haven't opened anything in there. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Right, let me see what we've got in here. Oh my gosh, all oh, this has been wrapped so beautifully. Right, let me pop that up there a second. So let's have a little look and see what Valerie's been making here. Oh my word. Oh gosh, look at these. Oh, look at these fabulous snippets. Look, aren't they lovely? I do apologise about the state of my hands. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a lace snippet. That is lovely. So she did, oh, she stitched that so beautifully there onto a bit of card. But that is fab. Oh, thank you, Valerie. These are lovely. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. These are great because these are all ready to go and be placed into... Oh, and it keeps going. Oh, and it keeps going. My goodness. <laughs> wow, that's lovely. Look at that. That is beautiful. And then we've got a paper one here. Oh, I like that. That's like all the stuff is in my jar, isn't it? Oh, Valerie, these are beautiful. Gosh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this one's coffee dyed. Look, look at that. She's coffee dyed a lace. That's fantastic. Oh, one here with some music paper in, and again a different stitch. Oh, look, oh, all these different stitches. Look at this one. Wow, that's not a feast for the eyes. I don't know what it is. Do you know what? That would make a wonderful belly band in my next journal. You can see it now. That is just perfect. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Valerie. That's inspiring me there because I've got two to make this week and uh, I was running out of ideas. Okay, we've got in here these are embellishments. Oh, look at these. Wow, isn't that lovely? A little bit of lace there behind as well. And then we've got this one here then. Oh, look, oh, look at that, it's so cute. And it's got a little tiny pocket in it. Oh my gosh, how do you get your hands to make that tiny, tiny little pocket? I would have made a right mess of that, that is lovely. Oh, and there we are. Look at that one there. And you see you're using your, your fabric snippets as well there, Valerie. That's lovely. And this one here. Oh, this is quite interesting. Lots of different textures going on there. That's really lovely. I've had so many lovely things sent to me lately. I'm going to have to make a journal now just to put all these beautiful things in. So I don't lose them. They are fabulous. Everybody's so kind. And it's just so nice to come in after a really busy day. And, uh, oh, look at that. And I have all these wonderful things on the door. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh, my gosh, this one looks rather exciting. Do you see what's in here? Probably got in here some really um, vintage-looking stamps. I'm really careful, you know, that I don't tear anything. Oh, gosh, look at these. They're lovely, aren't they? My goodness. That's a lovely vintage ephemera. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, and it keeps giving. Let me see what else we've got in here. Beautiful embossed paper there. Look at the little, little birds on there. 
I don't know if you can in the light pick that up. Sorry, the light's not very good in here this evening, but that is so sweet. And we've got some music paper there, look, with some beautiful flowers embossed on it. And a lovely ink pattern there as well. Oh my gosh, I've been really spoiled. Oh, Valerie, these are lovely. Thank you so much. Really lovely. All these gorgeous colours. Oh gosh, look at that. Lovely, lovely frame there, look. Oh, and she's left all the inserts in for me as well. These are fabulous. I need to get mum in now and get her room sorted to get her busy again and then I can crack on with my next project. Oh gosh, look at that one. Because these are just perfect for what I've got coming up next. So we'll definitely be using these. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at that one with the butterflies on, look. Aren't these lovely? Oh, you can just see that on a page. With, um... All that lovely writing space or drawing space then. And that there, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, and on the book. Gosh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you so much, Valerie. These are really lovely. So kind of you. And she's also treated me as well and sent me these beautiful stickers. You know, the the pop-up butterflies. I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. Oh, and then some more of these lovely... Um, if you remember, I was using some of these. I think I had some from um, Amber, and uh, I was using them on the tag project, wasn't I? Oh, my goodness, look at these. They are outstanding. Look at that, they are sort of really um, vintage ephemera look. Gosh, these are lovely. Had some fab serviettes, napkins, sorry. Oh, that's beautiful, I love that. I'm going to put that on the side actually because I've got a project in mind for that for tomorrow. I'm going to keep that one out there. Otherwise, I'll tidy it away and go to the Oh, look at this one as well. Oh my gosh, look at these colours. These are fabulous. Thank you so much. And there's more. Oh my gosh, look at this. A whole bundle then of um, vintage book pages. And what else have we got here? So. These are all lovely um, botanical plate uh, images to go in. To go in as oh, wow, look at that! I love that. My favourite colour flowers they are. These are great, and the fab thing about these is they can go in. Look, so that's a, a join there. You could put that straight into a journal. Look, that's fantastic. My golly, what have we got here? Braille paper. Wow. That's not something you see every day, is it? Good grief. This is lovely. And we've got some coffee dye um, dictionary pages. Look at the colours on that. That is just stunning. It's really lovely. And then in here. Oh, my goodness. How nice. Some ledger paper. Wow. Oh. <laughs> we were having a conversation a couple of weeks ago about these um, double windowed envelopes. i got to be honest, I didn't quite know what the girls were talking about because I've not seen these over here in the UK. Um, but I know Chrissy had some ideas of what uh, she'd done with her double windowed envelopes. So I'm going to have to go back and have a little look at, at how she uh, worked with those because that's great. Some more oh, and she's stamped on these as well, is she? Stamped or printed on them, very oh, lovely. There's so much to look at, I can't take it in. <laughs> and some, uh, some writing. Um, gosh, this is great. I love that. I'm fascinated with people's handwriting. My grandmother had really lovely uh, joined up handwriting. She used to keep diaries, always writing diaries. I've got loads of them here. And uh, it, it always fascinates me looking at um, people's handwriting. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Um, oh, and especially when you look at old ephemera, because it's just so distinctive, isn't it? Oh, this is... Um, 
is a different language here as well. Oh, that's really interesting. And I'm not even going to attempt to guess what that is there. It probably says on this somewhere, but I haven't I've got the wrong glasses on tonight. See, new excuse now. Not, I don't have glasses. I've got my wrong ones on. I'm wearing my long distance ones, not my reading ones tonight. So I'll have a little look at that in the morning. But gosh, it looks great. And then what have we got here? So I've got some, she's copied out a load of stuff here for me as well. Oh, well, these are fabulous. So I've got a load of received tickets. Brill and some some lovely um gosh, I would never have thought of coffee dye and vintage papers. But it's got like a really lovely texture to it. Almost as if it feels more sturdy for having been coffee dyed. I have to try that, finally. Oh, and she's done me some notes. This is all perfect because I've got to make a vintage journal this week for a swap. And um these would be wonderful in there. I love that. So much variety. And I might use some of this to make a, a correspondence journal as well. Because I've got lots to go in there. On a CV case. And a beautiful doily. My goodness, just so many wonderful things. Valerie, thank you so much. This has absolutely made my day today. Because we've had a really long weekend and um an awful weather yesterday we all got soaking wet and just been a, a long weekend for mum and dad so it, it's been it was lovely today to come in after all that hard work and have that there to come into and just be really uh yeah it's been really nice into the lovely day thank you so much for that oh and i can see i've missed one there bear with me a second I can't get over these snippets, these are fantastic. Can't wait now to sit and, uh, and work with those. But there was one more that we got in here. I'm sorry, you're a little bit close there. Is that better? I hope I'm not whispering really, really quietly. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. Well, this is handmade paper, isn't it? But look at that there with those pressed flowers. Isn't that beautiful? That is just lovely, and then a little lining in there as well. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Valerie. That's a lovely, lovely note and absolutely wonderful parcel. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Do you know what? I've got the best admin team we've got a fan fabulous group our facebook group and um a real community on them and it's, they're just wonderful girls and i've got four girls on the admin team and they are just so lovely really really kind and just so helpful you know anybody's got any problems on there they're straight away on there and um of course they're all on a different time <laughs> frame to me but it works out really well so we, we have different times of the day when we know we can all touch with each other and um, touch base and it, it just works really well so when I'm sleeping they they run the ship and it's great so I really appreciate everything you do girls thank you so much for Valerie that's really uh was lovely today okay I'm not going to go on too much longer now I just want to have a really quick um a really quick little project to show you today I'm going to show you how to make um these little flap out so we had fold up envelopes the other day, and now we're going to do flap out envelopes. And these basically are, if you remember me showing you, I did it with a really small piece of paper in one of the videos recently, um, botanical ones. And it, they really are as simple as this. You just fold down the top. This one here is a double length one. And then you can write in there, you've got lots of journal in space. And then you just fold him back up, pop him down inside. And there you have yourself a little envelope and then you can paper clip that then into your journal page or tuck it into a little pocket so these are just a couple that i've done just to show you some examples and um so this one here is slightly different i've um popped a, some note paper in this one look so just simply glue that on the side and then there's a couple of pages then so it's almost like a little mini journal in there and then again, then that takes up no more space than just being paper clip, uh, yeah, paper clips onto the page or, um, but, th but all of these are just made with scrap pieces of paper. 
So I'm going to really quickly show you how I did that. So these are all my, my bits and pieces that have, been, that have been left over. So obviously this is the kind of shapes that you're looking for. But you can work with anything from this size to this size to this size. Even small little slivers like this will do. Um, so, you know, anything you've got. And we, we, we all have loads of these because these are the bits we usually just slice off the end of something, aren't they? Um, are you out far enough there? Can you see? Sorry, should go about. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to do one like this first of all. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper, and we are going to um, bring your two corners together at the top, because you're just going to find the centre of the top of the piece of paper and literally just pinch in there. And that's just to give you a bit of a guide when you're working on the inside. And then we are simply going to take these two corners here, and we are going to flap them down aiming to keep these two pieces here at the bottom so see this at the bottom here our aim is to get these two bits here to be level and straight and hopefully if all goes to plan it'll all meet at the top as well there we go so that's that's your your pointy bit that's the top of your um your flap okay then we're going to fold this over and I know I've mentioned this before in envelopes about the importance, not importance, but the, the relevance of leaving, you know, about a centimetre gap here between the bottom of your, your uh, point flap here and then where you're going to fold your paper. Because when you do fold the envelope over, it just gives that nice buffer there then. Um, and I just think that gives a really nice edge to the, to the flap of the envelope. So... I'm going to just leave myself about a centimetre there and you can just see it there, like just pinch your edges in then and then just fold that top there. Now this is quite a long um, a piece of scrap, obviously sometimes we're working with bits of scrap that length, sometimes maybe longer, so first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold um, back up now, I'm going to fold the bottom up and I'm going to just leave a little bit of a gap top then I'm going to take it all the way up um, and then I'm just going to flatten that down. Now you could keep your sh envelope shape like that, it's, it's perhaps more of a flag shape then but obviously if you've got a nice decorative bit of paper like I've got here that's quite a nice addition then to perhaps paper clip on the side of a page because you could paper clip that to the side of a page. Mm -mm. A little bit of paper to give an example. If you were to um, paper clip that onto the side of the journal page you could then also use that behind it as a tuck spot you see so you know there's no harm in you leaving it longer um because it's you know it provides a bit more stability then if you wanted it to act as a tuck so there's that option but if you didn't want it to be that long and you wanted it to be like a dainty little envelope like this one you'd simply just fold it up again and then it would give you more of a shape like this. There we go. So now it looks more like an envelope, doesn't it? And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, when you've got um, a double-sided pattern, so, you know, when you're using scrap that's got printing on the back, <coughs> excuse me, um, you may want to just stick the, the, these flaps down. Um, but if you've got uh, white paper on the inside or coffee dye paper on the other side, you might want to not stick these flaps down because it is obviously added um, journaling space. You could write underneath those then. But as we're not going to do that on here because it's got print on the other side, I'll just stick that down. And then that's nice and neat and out of the way then. Um, and then to finish off, you may just want to go around then with your, your smushy brush, as we call it. And um, that just gives it a bit of a... Just offsets everything and you know sets it off even sorry everything's going to come out the wrong way around now this evening because it's been a long day <laughs> and I'm tired. but i didn't want to not do a video for you guys today because you know we've had a fantastic weekend and while well, i've been busy um moving mum and dad and packing up stuff and one thing and another um you guys have been fantastic and we've had so many people watching our videos over the weekend and um, loads of you um, 
purchased kits at the uh, at the sale. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for the support. Plus, I've done two um, online vintage sales on Instagram over the weekend. So we have one Friday and one Monday. Um, yeah, just really, really busy. And just so much... Um, so much support from everybody it's been fantastic so thank you so much because we really do appreciate it and all your kindness and and just the lovely messages that we get in um because uh we had a beautiful review left on our etsy today and um some ephemera that mum had made that uh lady bought last week and um it, it's just such a boost you know i i forget sometimes you're buying things on etsy and you know, we get that little ping that comes up and then you think, oh, gosh, I haven't put a review on. Oh, I'm sure somebody else will. But it just means so much to the creators when um, people take the time to give a bit of feedback. And, uh, you know, just makes you think, gosh, right, OK, we are obviously on the right track. But, yeah, it was lovely because my phone pinged and I was like, oh, I said, is that a sale or is that a bit of feedback? And she said, oh, I think it's feedback. So we got it. With we would been moving stuff from the other house. So I jumped out and I was like, oh, mum, quick, come and read this beautiful message on here. So if you are watching, thank you very much. Because um, mum really appreciated that and really made her day. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you now some different ways that you can decorate your, um, your little envelopes. So what I've done in the three that I've made previously, I've just... This one I've cut out a circle out of um, a bit of pattern paper and literally just fix that at the bottom so I can take the flap in and out. And obviously I popped in the notebook in that one. A um, bit of lace across the top, something else that you could do. And I've also put a bit of a, a fabric cluster on there with a nice little button. Um, on that one here again, this is a smaller one and I've just washi taped that closed. Probably because I probably wouldn't open that one now some obviously you'll want to use for um um to write in and some you may not some you may just think oh that's nice and decorative i'll just put a paper clip on that and it'll just be something nice on a journal page um and that's good too that's fine but again you know you can make them as simple as you like or as you know um elaborate but i mean i think that's quite nice eh? so i I may not write in this one because, as I said, there's some print inside there. But you could you could journal on that. Um, but either way, it's just secured with a little bit of washi tape. So let me just quickly show you again. So with this one now, this one will be slightly different because it's wider. But again, just draw your top two together and then pinch that centerpiece. That just gives you a bit of a guide of what you're aiming for with your um, the top point. And then... We will try and bring these two ends down. It doesn't always go, and sometimes you might have a little bit of a gap in the centre. Um, that's not major. That's okay there. We can cope with that. But I'm not going to glue these flaps down because, as you can see, there's lots of nice blank space here to write. So I'm going to leave these flaps just resting um, closed there. Obviously now is probably a good time to just quickly go around with um, the ink because it's one nice big section. And then um, we'll look to fold him up. So I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I'm not sure what everybody else's weather was like. We've had four seasons here yet again. We had, um, what was Saturday like? You know, I can't even remember Saturday. Um, Sunday was not too bad, and then Monday. Oh no, we did. We had two, two couple of nice days Saturday and Sunday. A bit chilly, you know, chilly for me. But and then Monday. Oh my goodness, it was biblical. It's the only way I can describe it. The storm we had yesterday was biblical. It absolutely chucked it down with rain. We were soaking. <laughs> I haven't seen rain like that in a long time. And the wind, my goodness. And um, mum and dad have moved from right down in the bottom of a mountain, uh, at the bottom of, a, of the hill, right up to the top of, an, of another one. And and they're, they're right at the top of a valley. So the wind 
my goodness, it, it comes swoop, whooshing up, you know. But um, the view, my goodness. It's, once Mum's box is all out the way, I'm going to do a video so you can see um, her craft room and the view out of her window. She will either, it will either just thoroughly inspire her and she'll just constantly be making um, lovely things in all those colours that that mountainscape that's in front of her, in, you know, um, evokes with her. Or she won't get anything done because she will just be staring at the view. Mine would probably be the latter. I would just sit and daydream, I think. It really is lovely. And uh, all their windows at the back of the house. Well, they're all at the back of the house. Everything's, I think the whole house has pretty much been built to... Um, you know, so that you can take full advantage of this beautiful view. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely. So I will um, I'll do a quick video over there, perhaps at the end of the week when everything's unpacked. And you can see then where Bella's gone. Because um, we're all super excited, family, because obviously my dad are much nearer to us all now, my brother and my sister and myself. Um, and instead of a you know, a few miles drive over two mountains. I've just got like four minutes up the road now over one mountain. <laughs> we'll have to pass a mountain everywhere you go around here, but, uh, or a hill. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice, really exciting day today. Just super, super tired. So round two tomorrow. They, they moved most of the uh, of the house today. They've, they've stayed there now tonight, but um, we've got the removal men back tomorrow to bring all the kitchen stuff, so. Um, yeah, lots going on. Oh, that one's gone for a run. There we go. So I'm just put a little bow on this one here. And perhaps these are ideal, these little, um, little gemstones for these, because obviously they, they're quite um, dainty, these pockets that we're making. So <clears throat> this one now, I've done this one slightly differently. So where I sealed that and closed, because the other side of this was covered in text, um, and there isn't really any writing space. This one, I think there's quite a bit of writing space on this one, isn't there? So that would be great to utilise that in the journal. So I'm not going to glue any of that down. Um, I'm just going to leave that like that because when that goes into the journal then there'll be a little paper clip on there and that will hold it shut. But I think again that's quite quite effective. Um, I was just going to show you one as well then with cardstock because this one I've made um, using uh, this is the, the edge of, uh, you know, a 12 by 12 sheet. Um, so I've got a really tiny bit here. Um, and I'm just going to show you again that, you know, these, they, you know, they do fold, you know, quite as easily as the paper fold. But um, again, same thing. So I've just tucked my um, my two corners down ready. Um, so we've got a nice point on there. And then this is nice and plain on the inside of here. So I'm going to just fold this up here now. Um, but this is where your bone folder will come in really useful because you might just want to just press those down there. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. And then again, we've left that nice gap there now. So that should make it easier to bring that over the top. There we go. And there we are. So we've got another groovy shaped little envelope. And, with, and that's got a nice writing space in there. So, of course, sometimes as well, if they, um, the flap of the envelope isn't terribly big, so obviously on these, it was quite a lot of space to play with there and the, and the larger one. But if you've got one this, this size and this shape that's not terribly big, you don't actually have to, well, you don't have to decorate any of them, but I wouldn't worry about embellishing that because what I would then do is um, use an embellished, paper clip and that would add your bit of just interest to the front of that then wouldn't it when you because you could put that for instance over the top of a journal page and have it like that but with the embellished paper clip on the top or on the front whichever but I would put with that I would probably be more inclined to put my embellishment on the paper clip also because if you do want to take it out and write in it you don't then have all that bulk on there so gonna leave that one plain I think. Um, 
again there's lots of other different things you can do as i say i mean i've got some black card here you know that would be great you could uh, embellish on that with perhaps some gold pen or you could use some um, material scraps to embellish on the black so that would work too um as you, you saw with these i did that they were just a slightly different shape so if we have a quick look now at all the ones that we've got here just give you an idea of how um every piece that uh, that we use all those bits of paper i've used now today have a different shape and they've all given me a different shape envelope but they all work equally as nicely i think um you could use um you know uh, writing text that's the word i'm looking for any paper with any text on again i think that, that looks quite effective you could leave it as it is or ink it up um you could use some embossed paper nice skinny sheets of paper like this like say these are great because you can fold them up twice and then you will have you know double the amount of uh, writing space and again then the same with the paper ones so let me just do one more demonstration just to quickly remind you how we did it so we're just again going to pinch them together at the top so i've just lined these two bits here up pinch them at the top and then we're just going to draw down um our two sides bring our wings in and um, just really carefully wiggle that into shape and hopefully and then there we go that's it so we've got a nice triangle shape there now at the top of our paper and then we're going to look at that um centimeter gap there and just bring that down and um and flatten that into place so now we've got a nice envelope flap on there and then obviously, depending on how much you've got here, um, you can then fold it up then to suit that. So I will take that up now, up here, and then I will take it up again. So you can either leave it at that length, like I said, and, and use that then as a, as a tuck spot on the side. So you've got lots of space, you can um, add decorations to that. Or you can fold it up twice and have um, a shorter, more envelope looking shape. And then, you know, you've got that extra writing space tucked away safely inside there. But, you know, as you can see, using these decorated papers that are left over, they're, um, they're ideal. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Um, look forward to seeing you sharing some more of your projects. It's been lovely to see um, all of the envelopes and things that you've been making over the last week. Do keep sharing them. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you do and you haven't yet subscribed, um, if you'd like to subscribe. And also, if you don't want to miss any of our videos, there's a little bell at the bottom. If you just click on the bell and then you'll get a notification then the next time that we upload a video. Um, but take care, look after yourselves and stay safe. And we will speak to you all soon. Bye now.